move on they guys. Have more, they, have, they have favorites. <laughs> and of course, it's not just all football. Let's talk about Tell rugby. Peter, <laughs> and Shitera, I'll start with you. The KRU Championship, that's <laughs> rugby. The second tire, what we call NSL in football, uh, has begun. And we saw a new team, or rather promoted, Zitek Ox, uh, claiming a huge win in Nairobi. And of course, in the varsity derby, that's Masinde Moliro University of Science and Technology beating Mean Machine. Mean Machine basically UON. UON, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no there. <laughs> I think a talent or anything will start growing uh, from the ground up. And um, uh, by such a championship making a comeback, I think uh, it is the best uh, thing that can e ever happen in rugby because now we are sure that our national teams will be fed. Our top uh, league clubs will be fed and um, this is what we've always been talking about when we champion for good leadership in federations because immediately uh, Sasha Mutai uh, took over you can clearly see that uh, we are having some positives uh, in rugby uh, our seventh team uh, was uh, 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 readmitted, readmitted to HSBC, yeah. into uh, the HBC series. Mm -hmm. uh, our, uh, our, the Simbas have, have, have won the Elgon Cup. And the competition, uh, you can clearly see that, in fact, we are, we are finding solace in rugby more than in football. A person like me who is an ardent fan of football, I'm enjoying rugby because we are enjoying and having it right from the grassroots up. Say from your backyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Harambe stars can really frustrate you until you decide to look for other things to watch. And it's good that we are having options. It's good. Um, a, a very a, a big up to Zitek Ox for um, coming back from relegation and beating uh, homeboys in their debut match. So that communicates that they are they are, they are back into this season and they mean business while at it. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see that. Things are happening in other areas, and um, the fact that we will never lack a team to feed into our national teams would mean that uh, Kenya, the, the rugby scene, we're just about to continue dominating where we are by virtue of, 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 of what is happening um, at the very local leagues. Uh, the fact that we are seeing the likes of Moose coming in and beating Min Machine, who've been a, a, a household name, mm -hmm. it speaks volumes in terms of uh, who's coming in to take charge? The fact that we are able to see changes and it's not domina. It's not, we're not seeing any, any anyone dominating uh, uh, completely. Of course, that's a lot here. Yeah. Top tire, of course, Cabras and the usual suspects have dominated. But you see, the fact is, for the very first time, they've talked of new changes or new fresh teams. But look at it this way: for the very first time, Kule Ukunda, mm. we have Coast Pirates, Coast Pirates. Mm -hmm. who is actually taking top tire. Rugby mm. to Diane. Mm. <coughs> How instrumental is that in the growth of the game? You know, you know, Swila likes uh, <laughs> likes that drift with sevens. <laughs> and uh, whenever you hear him talking about Ukunda, he likes going there. Likes Ukunda. You tell us. You tell us more. What is, what is in Diane? Uh, and Ukunda. But he likes that. Anytime there is a drift with Ukunda, but but uh, it's not just drift with actually. It, it, anything. Dana so he drifts, he drifts yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Dana <laughs> a drift. I he likes. But basically is diversification of the sport. And I think um, for a long time, uh, there has been that, that notion that, uh, you know, only some regions can play some sport. But I want to believe that, uh, you know, you can find a good talent anyway. I always tell people that if Africa was a country, and uh, you ask in the history who has ever won a Ballon d'Or, it's only a George Ware from Liberia. It's not the best footballing nation in Africa. So you can find, find talent anywhere as, as long as we invest in it. And really we are hoping that the, the, the team, the Pirates are going to, to show uh, something good, even going into the season. I felt bad because Min Machine is my team, you know that, eh? for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, having, uh, you know, that uh, it's affiliated with my school. So I, I, I felt bad when they lost. Should have played. You should have played for them. No, uh, I don't want to to claim glory that I can't. Eh? <laughs> I love rugby, by the way. I, I don't watch it for uh, as an alternative of uh, hurting in football, but but basically, uh, I won't play it for many reasons. But uh, uh, Suila, mm -hmm. <coughs> some of these good news we are seeing in rugby, and we have to congratulate, by the way, the Simbas for winning the Elgon Cup. Mm -hmm. 
are coming at a time that is very critical. The other day, uh, I was not here for, on, for Sport Monday last week. You are talking about the sponsorship. When we are going to the uh, series, uh, as Stella mentioned, uh, when the girls are also getting into Challenger after winning, of course, in Africa, it means that something good is happening. When the teams up there are winning, there's inspiration even in the lower tiers because players can say, I want to play well in the championship so that I can go to the, to the main league, Kenya Cup, and then I'm seen, I can even get a slot in the, in the national team. It's something good that is happening. And when teams are also playing at the biggest leagues, money comes. You remember, that sponsorship we were talking about the other week has come back even restructured with more money mm -hmm. because the team is back to the, to the top level. Okay. And I want to believe that this season is going to be good. Of course, we are heading to South Africa, and, and I f sorry, Dubai first, then Cape Town. And I want to believe that uh, really, uh, Shuja are going to start on a good note. Absolutely. And